Hello and welcome back to my office. If you're a regular here, good to see you again. If you're new here, well hello. Welcome. I'm Nick. I sell stuff on the internet. Hopefully for profit. If not, you're doing something wrong. And on this channel we talk about all the aspects of buying and selling stuff online. So for this video, I think it's just going to be picking orders again. Um, I have been asked by a lot of people to do the old Go GoPro ones, where I, where I put the GoPro on my head and, and go around the office picking the orders. I'm still having problems with my GoPro. It's being a right pain, but I will try and use the camera here to, to actually go and pick the stuff. See how that works. So um, we've been quite busy. I've got uh, 20, 25 orders going out. Um, Andrea's stuff, Andrea is my wife, we work together. Um, she has packaged her stuff already, so I can't show you, but I'll quickly show you the packages. Uh, there's a necklace there. Um, I think that was on clearance, uh, 650 to include the postage. Uh, there's a St. Michael sheet. Um, let me see if I can find it on screen. That has gone for $12.99 plus shipping, $16.49 all in. There is a coat that went on offer uh, for £17, I think the offer was we got on that. And a Victoria Plum vintage duvet. I think it's a duvet set. Yeah. Um, sold on Instagram for 40 so that's Andrea's stuff and then if we work through eBay we will pick some orders okay so I'm gonna start at the bottom here so this you may remember from a video the other day uh, was this Philips stereo and I had real problems trying to make it function a lot of people suggested in the video that this switch will actually go to the right it doesn't there isn't it it doesn't click into another position there it only goes that way or that way so anyway I couldn't make the tape player function so I listed it as 40 and it sold within 24 hours now I put it on at 40 I had an offer come in of 32 and I just snapped snap accepted that I was not gonna mess around I just want this gone so 32 pounds so there's gonna be a big chunk of shipping on that let me just sit that on top of this Nintendo Wii um, yeah it's quite heavy so obviously a big chunk of shipping but very pleased two pounds investment 32 pounds minus the shipping which is gonna be I'm guessing about seven or eight pounds I'm not sure but yeah pleased with that uh, that's the coat oh we have a cube um, there's a message on it let me read that from James who is a viewer and he says uh, I'm a subscriber I'm not a seller and don't often even buy off eBay uh, however I find your YouTube channel engaging you both come over very genuine keep up the great videos thanks James that's lovely thank you so much so you have ordered a 2 by 2 cube so the cubes are up here uh, two by two square edge are these so if we grab one of those that's what they are and that will be shipped off to James next I listed uh, the other day a couple of cross stitch kits so there's this Kingfisher and this pair of herons um, I think they've both gone actually um, but the first one is the herons that's gone for ten pounds uh, is there shipping on no so ten pounds all in but that will go as a large letter so that should ship for about a pound so quite happy with that um, the other one let's see if I can find it quickly while I've got it uh, has gone for 20 so that one's gone for 20 I'm not sure I can get that one to go as a large letter 
I may do if I rearrange the yarn to get it thin enough. So yeah, 20 on that one, 10 on that one, free shipping on both. I'm pretty sure I paid 50p each on those. So next, um, ah, this is a Sarah and Duck plush. Is it in there? I think it is. That one. Come on, duck. Come on, duck. Come on, duck. And I think that's going to a viewer as well. So yes, this is going to a viewer as well. It's going to uh, Cheryl. Uh, and there is a message. Uh, I've seen you on YouTube. Love your videos. Would be so cool to see you picking my order. Well, there you go. Um, in a video, the Sarah Teddy. Um, oh, you've bought two other things as well. I see. Yes. Um, so you've also bought two cubes, uh, the small V cube, the Sarah Teddy and small V cube are for my three year old little boy. The bigger one is for his daddy to keep them occupied during lockdown. That is fantastic. So a four by four and a two by two. So up here, Again, the four by fours are these, like so, and the two by twos are the same that we just picked. So all of that is going to Cheryl. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so next we have a Zoella um, coin purse set stroke makeup gift bag. Um, now I had a message from Karen. Karen is another viewer uh, who has bought this and I've just realized you also bought the um, Kingfisher. So they will ship together. So let's just go and find that. I've also managed to sell two purple Cluedo spares. So we'll pick those as well. Right, so this is the uh, like twin pack of Zoella. Um, so that's going to ship with that. Thank you so much, Karen. And then Cluedo spares. So in here somewhere, we have this. And I've sold two of the purple ones. But they are the see-through purple ones, so like this, they're transparent. I don't know if that really shows. There you go. Um, yeah, so one and two, and they've gone for 3.98 plus shipping, so five pounds for those. Okay, so we have a couple of books, uh, Nick Hornby and a Terry Pratchett. Um, all right, it's right at the bottom. It's always the way. Oh, this is so tricky one-handed. That's that. Very little value in it. I think that's gone for about three pounds. And the Terry Pratchett is this one. Pratchett portfolio, part of that massive haul of books. Uh, all of the books were 20 pence each. Uh, did incredibly well on that in the end. Uh, this one was listed separately on its own and went on offer at eight pounds. Um, next, oh, I listed a camera a couple of days ago as part of this week's listing challenge. Um, it's a Pentax. I think we got this for a couple of pounds at the boot sale. Uh, let's see if I can get it out of one hand. There it is. So it's a Pentax SPO 115V. Uh, it's got a really nice zoom lens. It comes right out. It's about like a four inch lens once it's all the way out. Um, so yeah, listed this right at the top end of th what I thought we could achieve, which was 50 pounds. And it sold within a day. So really, really happy with that. 
Uh, it's got its original Pentax case, which is nice. So yeah, really pleased with that one. Uh, next, um, right, I listed a load of um, sealed media and these verbatim DVD-Rs have gone, um, but not for a lot. They went on offer at seven pounds the pack. So after shipping, there's not much in there, but I'm happy to move them. Um, I've also been listing uh, board game spares and we have sold the first pack of these. Now these are pegs to go with Guess Who, Vintage Guess Who. Now can I do this with one hand? No I can't. Um, yeah, five in a pack and they're listed at uh, five pounds a pack and a pack went on offer at four pounds. So that's those. Uh, C2, this is a car part. This is a Vauxhall Astra wing mirror. So C2 is here. And then there's loads of like odds and sods just bundled in. I think it's somewhere in the back. Here it is. Right, it's a little wing mirror for a Vauxhall Astra. Let me show you. There we go. Oh look, it's me. Hello. So yeah, that's gone. That has been sat on forever. Um, and we took eight pounds. I think that was an offer to get it moving. Happy with that. Next, I listed a bunch of CDs uh, yesterday and we have sold some already. Um, I listed two bundles of Erasure CDs. So these are duplicates from when I've been buying big bundles of Erasure because I'm collecting Erasure stuff. Um, when I buy bundles, generally I get a lot of duplicates, but I sell the duplicates on and that tends to cover the cost of the whole bundle. And it means my collection is building up for free. Uh, so I listed a bundle of 10 Erasure CDs that's gone for 20 pounds and a bundle of four that's gone for 750 but that one had shipping on so that's 1050 all in so let's find those so they should be here so this is the four so this one is Erasure Wild, so that's 89, I think that came out. I Say, I Say, I Say, which was 94. Chorus, which was 91. And The Innocence, which I think was 88. Not sure on that one. 88, nailed it. And the other bundle is up here. Um, So it's got the same four in it plus some others. So there's the Innocence again, Chorus again, Wild again, I Say I Say again. Uh, their self-titled Erasure album from 95. Cowboy, which was 97. Love Boat, which I believe was 2001. Or was it 2000? 2000. Uh, Nightbird 2003 or is it four? Five, damn it. <laughs> Circus, what's that, 86? Oh, it doesn't actually say. Wonderland, their first album. Um, 84? Five? Six? 86? Okay, <laughs> testing my knowledge there and, and failing miserably. Um, okay, so very pleased that they have sold pretty much straight away. Um, so that's cool. I've just noticed the next order has a message on and it's going to another viewer. Um, it is for an adult colouring book, The Enchanted Forest, an inky quest. And the message says, hi, saw this in the background of one of your recent videos and had to have it. Love watching your videos. Looking forward to more sourcing videos in the future. So am I. I cannot wait to get out there. Uh, and this is going to 
uh, Terry is it yeah Terry thank you so much for the order I will grab that in a sec along with a bundle of Harry Potter which is sold for 60 pounds and it's mostly paperback so I was quite happy with that let's go and find those right so that is Terry's order the enchanted forest it's a really cool thing actually amazingly detailed and it has some pages that fold right out I think in the back look at that look at the level of detail in this awesome I think there's one on this side as well whoa excellent anyway there's that um, and there's two Potter bundles here it's this one that's gone so four paperbacks and four of the no three of the regular Harry Potter books in hardback but they're common hardbacks and the cursed child in hardback and yeah that was listed yesterday and it's sold for 60 overnight I'm running out of space so that's good uh, next we have some more um, of this media again listed yesterday some Philips CDRs I uh, don't think there's much in it now 13 pounds all in on that um, ah guess who spares now these are the little card holders that you flip over in Guess Who. I had some incomplete Guess Who's. I have uh, made the decision to break them down and sell off spares. So I've sold, um, there's two different sorts actually. Yeah, there's this sort which is the earlier edition and there's this sort which has more holes in the back than these which have a full panel on the back um, I sold a little lot of those so if anyone does need guess who spares so because what happens is the little hinges on these break and then they fall off so I've got spares for both the earlier 7980 version and the 87 and I've got spare cards for the later 87 one and the little cards that go in the frames and I've got the cards that go in the frames for the earlier first edition one like so so if anyone needs those the links to our eBay are below all of our videos so just go and check it out so it's one of those has gone so it's not the whole bag it's um, four four have sold for uh, went on offer 250 plus shipping okay and the last thing I need to pick today is this just a little Lego storage box quite a cool thing and that has gone for 10 pounds um, free shipping so job done so there you go quite a mixed bag of stuff um, I need to get busy because I'm still on this listing challenge and this is now going to take me a couple of hours to package all of that um, and get all of that dropped off and on its way and then I've got to get back into listing I've got, I'm going to list that Nintendo Wii that is currently sitting underneath that stereo um, and then this Vax I think uh, is going to go on today and I don't know what else but listing challenge is going well uh, on Monday next Monday I'm going to get together with the rest of the guys and we're going to compare and see who has managed to list the most so I will see you on Monday for that now I mentioned before that I used to do videos with a GoPro stuck to my head uh, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about I will link one of those GoPro uh, picking orders videos up here so check that one out and uh, let me know how you thought this went using the camera and flipping the view yeah I don't know let me know take care thanks for watching see you soon